Welcome to the Mixed In Podcast. Podcast number seven. That's right, and Jesus is joining us again. Yay! What's up, everybody? All right. It's actually starting to become a... A regular thing. Yeah, a regular thing for Jesus to be here with us. That's pretty cool. All right. And today we've got... um, uh, some of the same things we've been doing, but there's one new thing in there. We got a, we got a new topic that we're going to add uh, into the into this podcast. So stay tuned for that. Um, but today we're going to start with uh, uh, dream vacations that you would love to take, and why do you want to go there for reals, for realsies? Why do you want to go there? I know there's a couple places that I want to go. Yeah, I think there's a couple places. So we're not, um, it's not limited to one, however yeah. many you want. Yeah. Okay, so any vacation, and, and the, 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 the money is no... Right, money is no option. option. You can, so. you, it, you, if you want to go someplace very exotic, it's okay. Yeah, so <laughs> should be fun. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's find some good music. Mm, nah. Not that one. I don't have very many options on here. That's going to have to do. <laughs> so this is uh, space and time. This is usually okay. my sci-fi music that I'm playing. I got to update my uh, music list. Well, so far but, I like it. It sounds yeah. like, it sounds Should like be good. exploring. All um, right. So we get with us today some very delicious beers that Chris bought for us. Yeah, what it's a that? German um, beer. It, it to me, it's the um, if you can't find Paul Lanners, uh, the oh, what was that one? The the, the uh, Sav- Sal- Salvatore. Salvatore. That's right. If you can't find the Salvatore, this is yeah. like second best. I haven't tried it yet, but I know it's very volatile when I poured it. So yeah, it wants to yeah. foam up all over. <clears throat> so it's really good. All right, so let's. Um, who wants to start? Who wants to start off this vacation hub? Since you came up with the Chris, wouldn't you go ahead oh. and, and start? <clears throat> what 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 place would you just love to go visit? Well, the thing is, is, is it's not because there there's going to be like the the best resorts there or anything like that. But for me, it's because a lot of movies get recorded there. I want to go to New Zealand. It seems like, you know, like the the Lord of the Rings and a bunch of other movies. They use these mountainous backgrounds for uh, for for this all the time. And it's like, man, would I love to go there. So, I. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe they've got great hotels. Maybe they suck. But <laughs> the thing is, I want to go to yeah. New Zealand. What kind of movies were made there? The Lord of the Rings. Of the a Rings. lot of the shots were done there. Yeah. Um, anytime where there's uh, where they really need like vast distance with awesome mountains in the background, a lot of green, and you know, sometimes they use New Zealand for your Ireland shots and things like that for other movies too. So if you uh, if you uh, like that kind of a uh, uh, scenery, then I guess New Zealand is the place. You know, Australia has some of it too, but New Zealand, that's the one. So that's one of them. So, what about you, Jesus? Where is your dream place to go? <clears throat> um, I've always wanted to go to Japan. I know that's like one of the biggest tourist spots. Ever. I've never been there. I, but I've always wanted to go to Japan, honestly. Mm-hmm. Japan? Well, why for J- why Japan though? I don't know. Just always been. Well, there's scenery the culture, there too. The scenery, yeah. I mean, the culture. I mean, dating back to, you know, the feudal era and everything. I mean, mm-hmm. it'd be pretty cool to to go out in the countryside and just see all those mountains and stuff. I mean, we have mountains out here, but yeah. <clears throat> Problem with Japan right now, though, is the is the radiation levels. <laughs> yeah, not, not good right now. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that actually. I think the only re- like why I would want to go to Japan is because that's where all the technology is. Oh yeah, there yeah. is well not all, but there is a, a crap load of technology there. They come out with a bunch of stuff there first, and yeah. then we see it. And I want I would I would be awesome to go there and check out some of these really high tech things like um, I don't know robots or something, some kind of special hologram cell phone thing or something, some kind of technology you see like on Facebook or something, and it's like wow that's so cool. But all you see it is on Facebook. But if you're actually go to go somewhere where the technology is abundance, you're bound to see something in Japan. Like you'll that. find it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. For sure. Yeah. Um, for me, 
um like my dream vacation spot right now would probably be anywhere off like uh, a tropical island and like uh, a bungalow bung bungalow bu bungalow bungalow yeah. thing bungalow. where it's just like a nice warm beach and whatnot and it's really weird why i want to go to one of these is because of the game island dead when you're playing it, that's that's where it takes place at. Yeah. And now, as I'm playing this game, I'm looking around. I was like, God, this place is so gorgeous. Minus all the the blood and guts and the dead zombies and everything. <laughs> it just it would be really enjoyable well, maybe that's, to go to some place like maybe that. for you. That's part of the thing. It's like, well, yeah, I'm yeah. here, but I yeah. where's all my dead zombies? Yeah, my, I want to kill some zombies while I'm here. I want to I want to construct some weapons to smash their heads in. So, but yeah. I would, mass I would, murder on the loose. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's just a game, man. It's yeah. just a game. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind going to some place like that where and, it's a nice tropical environment. And there's a lot of Lots islands of, like that right now. It yeah. doesn't have to be Hawaii. Everybody thinks yeah. of that first. But yeah. there's any, any Bora, anywhere, Bora, yeah. anywhere really. And, uh, that what do you call it? Uh, gives you that without having to worry about pirates or something. Real yeah. pirates. Real, Real scary pirates. Yeah, <laughs> Somalians usually. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds oh, that sounds yeah. really cool. That sounds okay. really cool. So, so where else would I go? Where, where else yeah. would I go? Let's say, um, I. I, I said New Zealand. I I haven't been to any of the other normal places that everybody goes. I have yet. I mean, I've seen images on YouTube and stuff of Hawaii, but I haven't gone there myself. But if I do it, I wouldn't just go and rent a hotel. I'd want to save up enough money that I could do all of the um, things that uh, that uh, that you hear about, like. Um, you you pay for the helicopter ride to take you mm. to the to see all of the massive waterfalls and things like that. I want to do the the really touristy things, but I really want to see Hawaii that way. That would be really cool. Yeah, <clears throat> that would be. I mean, yeah. just to see it from above, or even uh, wherever it is where they have like the crystal clear water. Oh yeah. And it's like you, you know, see those almost, coral like reefs, forty feet deep, and you can <laughs> just see all the way down to them. Oh, that would be awesome! So they like maybe take cool. a quick scuba class and go, yeah, and go and uh, down there with a waterproof uh, camera and take some images. That'd be really great to. Yeah, to I come think back. that's the Bahamas, I believe. Oh, yeah, okay, where yeah. it has the crystal clear water. Oh yeah, it's like, which is really weird because one of my most feared way of dying is drowning oh. <laughs> but i would i would love to go scuba diving it doesn't really look weird. that deep oh crap it's deep <laughs> how much oxygen do i got eh, we might want to head back up speaking of dying with in water i heard that um you you it takes longer to die in the salt water than it does the fresh water so it if does. you were to drown in fresh water it'd be quick and you would like it's done but and it, it, it takes like 10 minutes longer <laughs> if it was salt water <laughs> That sucks, doesn't it? My question is, is who the hell found that out? <laughs> <laughs> Were they, yeah. Were they, they testing probably, this? They <laughs> probably uh, they probably brought him back to life. They were like, let's just put this guy in the water for... I can't remember the reason why, but there's a reason why the salt water um, makes it tougher for you to die. I could just see like the, the newspapers. Um, oh, they need a science experiment guy. Okay, let's go test <laughs> this stuff out. Right. Okay, here's what we're going to have you do. This is probably not going to be very much fun, but hey, you'll get your 50 bucks at the end of the week. <laughs> Reminds me yes. of uh, Portal. Portal 2. Wait, was that how Portal is? Yeah, well, they were, he was, uh, when you're going through the game, Yeah. Uh, the guy just like, uh, it's you're in an old testing facility, and they used to use like, uh, like soldiers. Our veterans, or people off the oh, street, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. to uh, <clears throat> to do uh, like experiments for them or whatever, and they would pay them like sixty bucks or whatever just to do it. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. But so, um, what about uh, okay, Jesus? Uh, your second place. Uh, second place would have to be Rome. Oh, Rome. Yeah, actually, Rome would be pretty cool to go see. I would love to see Rome. Um, yeah, Colosseum. Coliseum. That's, what, that's one of my main things is I want to go see mm. the Coliseum. And Jess wants to go see too. You played um, Assassin's Creed, right? I have. Yeah, that like there's a bunch of uh, uh, historical landmarks oh. in mm -hmm. that game, and it's like I want to go see. It looks really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. that game looks really cool. Yeah, but yeah. I, I agree with you. I wouldn't mind going there. That'd be awesome. Yeah. How about you, William? Um, Mars. Mars. <laughs> Mars. And that's possible. You might be able uh, yeah. to do that. Money was no option. <laughs> I want to. I want to yeah. vacate in Mars. 
was that Elon Musk and a couple other people there? They've already got, don't they have a group of, uh, I don't know, how many people, 35 Billion, people? Yeah, billionaires <clears throat> or something like that. Mm-hmm, that can, uh, they already uh, have a schedule to go, but they're they're meant to go up there and not come back. It's not a vacation, but. Yeah, uh, I would, I would I want to come back. <laughs> I think soon though, they're oh, going to make it so that you can oh, go there. You can go yeah. there, visit. It's, I guess it's like a, like a, one of those, see if they can terraform Mars kind of things. Yeah. Well, or, not so much terraform, but just live. Live. Yeah, so these guys are going to, okay. they're going to try to colonize it you know have okay. babies and everything there's 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 a certain amount of men and a certain amount of women um on purpose <laughs> yeah okay yeah hmm, that's interesting. there are like yeah. twice as many women as there is men <laughs> no. each man has to impregnate two women <laughs> <laughs> it makes, the, it makes the gene pool much more <laughs> yeah same yeah <laughs> <laughs> well at least yeah. it's 35 women and not just two yeah. people they had that on star trek next generation where um they met these people and they end up stealing Riker's DNA and crap like that. I made a clone out of them. That's the way they're they they live. It's by cloning themselves over and over again. Well, at the end of the episode, they convince them that they need to start reproducing the old-fashioned way. And you know, the, the the main head guy is like, you know, wants nothing to do with this. He's like, so in order for this to happen, you're gonna have to pick five wives. Then all of a sudden, he didn't have a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to he had to pick five wives. <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, okay, I can I can see how this is this is gonna work. Is gonna work. <laughs> it's in my favor today, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat>